Good day everyone! Welcome to another episode of Arkel Blog. For today, we will learn SketchUp 3D in the fastest possible way. So in here, you will be learning the link between an AutoCAD drawing into a SketchUp 3D. So first, you need to draw your base plan using the AutoCAD software. So draw it in 2D drawing, in line drawing, and then you will import it in SketchUp later on. So in here, I am making a 4x4 square and I am dividing it into a series of polygons or triangles. When you are done with your base plan, make sure that you save your AutoCAD base plan into a lower version. And the next thing that you would do will be to open your SketchUp software. And then from the menu, you choose Simple and in Meters. Wait for the SketchUp program to load. So this is the SketchUp window. As you may see, it is run by toolbars and not by commands. So this is the material toolbars. I will just change my environment into shaded with texture and I will delete this one. So you can also adjust the settings. If you want to see the views, go to your go to view toolbars and then check or uncheck the things that you want to display in the screen. For more information regarding the use of each SketchUp toolbars, you can see it in your SketchUp manual in here, the SketchUp tutorial PDF that was uploaded in the MVLE and you can see in here or you can read in here the use of every toolbars in the SketchUp window. Now let's start. First, first I'll change the view into a top view and then I'll go to File, Import, find your base plan, and then Options, Meters, and preserve the checked boxes, and then click Import. Wait for it to, to import the base plan. Now, double click on the area. I will just copy this one and then paste a new copy. In SketchUp, uh, to turn it into a 3D view, you just need to trace your base plan. Or in my case, I am using a plugin which is called Make Faces so that it will automatically convert those line drawings into a closed polygon. If makita nyo, pag ito nag turn ng blue, it means it's already closed polygon and pwede na siyang extrude like that one. So I'm also using reverse faces yan 
right click, reverse spaces, double click, make group, double click ulit, tsaka ka mag extrude para nakagroup lahat para mas maayos at nakagroup lahat so and then yung extrusion ko is okay so double click, make group, double click and then extrude i-type mo one enter tapos click outside so you need to replicate the same procedure sa lahat ng figure hanggang sa mabuo mo siya Ayan. So, individually, nakagroup. I-hide ko muna to. And then, I will move it. Tapos, right-click, make group para iisa ang bloke lang siya. And then, if makikita mo dito, pwede mo siyang i-rotate. Tapos, i-type mo na lang yung possible na angle of rotation. Makikita mo siya doon sa baba. Kung saan mo din makikita yung dimensions. I will just move this one. So, dito sa SketchUp, you can see these lines, which is the green axis, the red axis, and the blue axis. So, pag blue axis yung sa taas, pataas yung ano niya, parang Z axis pag sa CAD 3D. So, I will explode it muna, and then I will apply materials or colors in here. I will be using the paint bucket tool para mag-apply ng colors. So, ito dito sa right side yung sa materials or sa coloring. So, para maiwasan yung bugs plot or yung makaparaf na file, make sure that you save from time to time. So, you go to File, and then choose Save As, and you can save it as a lower version. Para mas magaan yung file. Another feature of the SketchUp is the 3D Warehouse. So, the 3D Warehouse, doon ka pwedeng mag-download ng mga elements or ng mga components or 3D model na gusto mong ilagay doon sa ginagawa mong SketchUp. Like for example, you can download a chemistry lab. Yan. Or you can also download machineries, machines, or ducting works para ilagay mo doon sa ginagawa mong 3D model.
Tapos, magsa-sign in ka lang. You just need to sign in using your Gmail. And then, you download the SketchUp model. Tapos, open it. Tsaka mo siya i-copy and then paste doon sa ginagawa mong 3D. Yun lang siya, simple. So, this is less complicated as compared to doon sa AutoCAD 3D and then even Revit. So, that's it. That's the simple and fast way on how you do your basic 3D modeling using the SketchUp software. Are you ready for the group exercise?